Ooh, that was some fun. Finally able to do uh, a little bit of something, something for the truck starting up and giving a little bit of throttle. I didn't go over the speed limit, so don't, don't worry about that. Oh, what a great day it has been. I think it's Sunday, first day back at work. Whew. Ah. Happy as a clam, I can tell you that for sure. You know? Oh, man. So, um, I'm thinking about doing make it maybe like a little photo shoot with the truck. You know, just a truck by itself. Or maybe with me even in it. And I might make some posters and uh, would be looking to sell them to people if you're interested because it this is a one-of-a-kind truck um, there's no other trucks with uh, this color scheme and with the actual t-rex uh, on the side and with the t-rex eating the raptor on the front of the hood that's outside you know so that's something I'm thinking about doing if you're interested in doing that um, and me doing that make sure you leave a comment comment down below trying to figure it out it's it's one of the cheap ones it's like 56 bucks on on amazon um just to give her a, a whirl uh, i wish it would tell you like where it is because that's interesting i don't think he's behind me i don't see a state patrolman behind me or anything uh, on my way to work, there, it went off in the same area, but I was doing some research online and saying that K-Band um, isn't very trustworthy because they can just pick up random, random signals. Uh, K-A-Band is uh, the better one to um, get, so maybe I just need to get a better one? I don't know. If you guys got any ideas, um, make sure... Uh, comment down below as well okay I know there's not he's not behind me I have it set up for a highway oh shoot look at my sunglasses the freaking truck Yeah, today that was fun. 
Uh, and I'm like, so I'll give you a little backstory about the dog. So it was just over a fence and they had like four or five dogs there. And like the dog that bit me, he seemed like pretty friendly. And all of a sudden I, I, I did a, like to come up onto the top of the, um, the fence. And all of a sudden I stick my hand over there to give him a little pat and next thing you know, yeah. The owner was right there, but I didn't think, she, I don't know if she actually saw me get bit. But, no, my fault. Should, should, shouldn't be sticking your hands where you wouldn't put your pecker, though, that's for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. So that was a good day. That happened quite early on. You can definitely tell my fingertip is blue. So, as long as it doesn't fall off, that'd be high. But it, it, it hurts like hell. I've washed it. Had a bandaid on it all, pretty much all freaking day. Alcohol wipes. Uh, yeah, it it it, it stings a little bit. But oh, that I've been bit worse. I got bit right here on my elbow by a nice big huge German Shepherd. That wasn't my fault. That was complete owner's fault in that one. Because he brought the dog back in inside and forgot to shut the door all the way, and all of a sudden here he comes. Luckily, I had a whole bunch of layers on because it was cold that day. It was in November. It was at night, so I had like a long sleeve shirt on, sweatshirt, and my jacket on. So it, that definitely took the br uh, the brunt of it. Um, did break the skin. I did have to call my boss on that one. I'm not gonna call my boss on this one because it was my fault. I'm just an idiot. And plus, it wasn't even that bad. It barely even broke the skin. It barely did anything. It just it's just a little tender. That's all. But. Oh well, it's part of the job. So, and I'll never blame a dog for it. You know, I was invading its territory. He doesn't know me. I don't know it. Got another fucking stater. Let's see. Hi, Well, that's going to be it for me tonight. Um, I will see you guys later. Peace.